Yolo composing gloves here, get more bang for your buck, the auto compressor. As an audio aficionado, you want good compressors that work fast and make you those bucks. Well, the one buck compressor has got you covered. Not only is it a pun, but it's also an automatic compressor. First, let's hear some demos. An automatic compressor means it chooses things like gain, knee, ratio, and other compressor settings. Its aim is to be a quick, easy tool to toss on a track that just needs a quick smoothing. Just grab something with dynamics that are a little far apart for your taste, slap the auto compressor on it, and start cranking that threshold knob down. You will find the volume is now more consistent. So if something is struggling to stay on top of the mix, you can simply toss this on without all the hassle of those additional compression settings which can be really great if you're trying to work fast, if you have a deadline to meet, and having the most pristine exact settings isn't a big deal to you. And on top of it, the most important thing is, it still sounds great. For those of you who are new to compression, what you're doing is you're reducing the peak to peak range and increasing the RMS value, which is a really fancy way of saying average loudness. Compression is kind of a big topic, and if you want to know more, you could check out my Principles of Mixing series where I cover this in far more detail. You do have control over the attack and release of the compressor, so you can dial in how it detects and responds to transients. And finally, we have a dry wet knob, which allows us to do parallel compression easy breezy. Parallel compression allows us to mix the uncompressed track with the compressed track. Or in other words, we could take the punchy dynamic track and increase its average loudness by mixing in the compressed version without squashing the punch away. Oftentimes, we compress something and we lose a degree of punch from our compression, and so this is a method used to maintain the punchiness in your sound while making it sound on average louder, so it will be able to sit on top of things in a mix more consistently.
and of course it's the one buck compressor so how much do you think it's gonna cost a buck and finally typewriter audio is also an independent developer and i personally love seeing people working towards their goals and actually you know achieving them that's quite quite a thing to make something like this and it's quite the process to get to yourself to a point where you can continue to make products like this so hit him up it's only a dollar he sent me an email explaining that uh, through his code he's gotten a lot more efficient with his cpu and so it's a much more cpu friendly vst and they're continually just improving so help someone move towards their dreams and in the process you'll get some really cool tools that will help you get towards yours subscribe and have a blessed day